The Air Doctor 2000 is a HEPA air purifier that's simple in design. It lacks app connectivity and remote control, but has fantastic air purification performance. In our test, it reduced PM2.5 and PM10 to 0.1, showing nearly perfect results. While it may not have all the cutting edge features, it still has an auto and sleep mode, as well as preset timers. Furthermore, the device is easy to move around thanks to the lightweight design and indented handles. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. Next, we're gonna talk through what the AD2000 does best. First, purification performance for the Air Doctor was fantastic. Both the PM2.5 and PM10 were reduced to 0.1 after our one hour test. We want those numbers to be as close to zero as possible and the AD2000 nearly achieves it. Second, it comes with useful features like auto mode, which makes the device more hands-free and sleep mode, which dims the lights for nighttime hours. Furthermore, due to its lightweight and embedded handles, the AD2000 is easy to move around. However, all air purifiers have some trade-offs. Let's talk through some important consideration points for the Air Doctor 2000. Like all Air Doctor devices, it is a simple device. That means there are no wireless control options like remote control or app connectivity. In addition, it comes at a higher price, especially compared to other air purifiers of a similar coverage area. At Modern Castle, we put air purifiers to the test. We test 11 different factors that impact the performance, build quality, and usability of the unit. On screen is a complete list of our testing categories and their performance. To test the Air Doctor 2000, we set up the air purifier in a medium sized room in our office. I took a baseline measurement before starting the test to measure the current air quality. Then I let the Air Doctor 2000 run on the highest setting for one hour and measure the air quality to get another set of measurements. The AD2000 had exceptional performance in our test. Within the one hour test, the Air Doctor 2000 reduced PM2.5 from 0.9 to 0.1 and PM10 from 1.6 to 0.1. This is 0.37 ppm less than the average PM2.5 reduction to 0.47 ppm based on all of our air purifier tests to date. By comparison, the Air Doctor 2000 0.1 is notably better. Reducing PM2.5 and PM10 to 0.1 is exactly what we're looking for in an air purifier. In general, we want to see these numbers as close to zero as possible, so 0.1 is essentially there. With most air purifiers, ozone generation isn't an issue. That said, some that use negative ion generators had the potential to create ozone. To test this, we run the Air Doctor 2000, letting it run for one hour and measure the levels of ozone before and after with an ozone meter. The Air Doctor 2000 had no measurable ozone produced during our air purification tests. To purify the surrounding air, the AD2000 uses four different filters. The pre-filter catches the largest airborne particulates like hair or pet fur, while HEPA filter catches the smaller particles down to 0.3 microns. The carbon filter works in tandem with the others, eliminating VOCs and odors. Finally, the negative ion generator attaches negative ions to airborne particulates. The negative ion attachment causes the airborne particulates to fall to the floor, making them no longer a threat to your air quality. The Air Doctor is a smaller device with a medium-sized coverage area of 610 square feet. Thanks to its catter of 162 CFM, it can circulate the air in that space twice in one hour. In a smaller area of 305 square feet, it can perform four air changes per hour. The average air purifier we test is a coverage area of 716 square feet. By comparison, the AD2000 provides slightly less coverage. That said, a larger or smaller coverage area isn't necessarily better or worse. It's more important to choose a device that has the right coverage area for the space you need. Our wind speed test uses an anometer placed directly on the air vents of the Air Doctor 2000 to measure the fan speed in mile per hour. We run it on the lowest and highest fan speeds and record the speed of the air coming out of the device. On the highest fan speed of the AD2000, we measured a wind speed of 15.2 miles per hour. On average, we measure a max wind speed of 11.6 miles per hour. The AD is 3.6 miles per hour faster than the average. Our build quality test is a subjective test where we examine and assess the major material and design components of the air purifier. 
Specifically, we're looking for build and design issues that are more likely to break and or be difficult to use. Air Doctor has a history of making good quality devices, and the AD2000 is no exception. It's made of mostly durable plastic with a few places that seem prone to damage. The controls, filters, sensors, and overall device seem high quality and built to last. Our noise test measures the level of noise generated by the Air Doctor 2000 while it's running. We run it on the lowest and highest power modes, stand about three feet away, and measure the amount of noise generated with a sound meter. Overall, the noise level of the AD2000 fell between 46.1 and 60.3 decibels. On average, we measure air purifiers generating 61.5 decibels of noise, which is slightly louder than the AD2000. Here's what it sounds like on the lowest and highest fan speeds. Overall usability for the Air Doctor 2000 is good. It aims to keep things simple and focuses on performance rather than on bells and whistles. That said, it still has some key features that make using the AD2000 better. Setup is quick and easy, requiring only a few steps before the Air Doctor is up and running. You will need to make sure to remove the packaging from around the filters, which are pre-installed. On top of the Air Doctor 2000 is the touch panel to change settings on the device. With these buttons, you can adjust the fan speed, toggle auto mode, set a timer, and more. These controls are responsive and easy to interact with. That said, there is no remote control or app connectivity for the AD2000. However, having an auto and sleep mode are still really nice extras. Maintenance is straightforward, requiring the user to replace the filters and clean the sensor and pre-filter as needed. You will be notified by an indicator light when the filter needs to be replaced. In general, we find HEPA filters need to be replaced every 6 to 12 months and carbon filters every 12 months. However, the exact filter replacement frequency depends on environment and use. Annually, this will run you an estimated $125. There aren't a lot of third-party filter options available that we were able to find, so most likely you'll have to pay the higher price to buy filters directly from Air Doctor. The Air Doctor 2000 is a smaller air purifier designed for small to medium-sized rooms. It stands 18.7 inches tall and weighs 10 pounds. The lightweight design and handles on the side make it easy to move around. I would recommend the Air Doctor 2000 if you're looking for a small air purifier with excellent purification performance. With purification performance, we look for numbers to be as close to zero as possible. With that in mind, the Air Doctor 2000 had nearly perfect performance, reducing PM2.5 and PM10 to 0.1. In addition, airborne particulates were reduced from 189 to 34. If you want the absolute cleanest air, this is a great option. Furthermore, it offers a lightweight and simple design. At 10 pounds, the Air Doctor 2000 is not only easy to move around on, but easy to use as well. It keeps things simple, focusing more on raw performance over some of the more bleeding edge usability and app features. That said, it still has an auto and sleep mode, which are nice touches. Overall, if you're looking for a device that just works, the Air Doctor 2000 is a solid choice. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the AD2000, we've got a link in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at ModernCastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.